It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm Scott. And I'm Bill. And this is... The Bill and Scott Cubicle, Cubicle Show. Show. Upside down. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, your emoji's upside down there, a person and who doesn't want their face being seen. There's one of the, the poop heads in the office. Mm. Uh, Aren't we all just poop heads? But so? since we're talking about poop, let's get in some real poop talk here. <laughs> right? <laughs> if you're right out in the it. store, right? Yeah. And you're like, you're shopping at a, at a Target or a Wally World, or you're at a... At, at pennies or a call you're at, the mall. Or, you're at the mall you're out right and you got you got a your stomach is a brewing you got the rumblies in your tummies yeah. and it's time you hear the, you yeah. feel the call of nature do you hold and go with the pain for 10 minutes to get home or do you just go to the bathroom in the store if it's 10 minutes you go home but if you know you're going to be there for the long haul if you got a you know if you're running a marathon of shopping you're going to be out for a couple hours and you you go to the cleanest place available that's yeah, I, I will not use a public bathroom for ever for that not once never will so what let's say you you're gonna be out for another three hours and you know it. you know you're not stopping home because you're out with a group of people right you will hold it i will i will do whatever i can to not use a public bathroom okay have you ever used a public bathroom before yeah and i use like a whole roll of toilet paper to put over a, a toilet you know they say it's actually easier to transmit uh germs onto your hiney by putting paper because it, well paper, now I will never it, it do it there little... because that was the only way I could get by. But yeah. Okay, so do you ever go here in the bathroom? No. Like you never poop in here? Never have. All Are right. you kidding me? That bathroom is the most well, disgusting bathroom of all it time. It is. It's pretty bad. After I don't you know, even think any the of the cleaning crews have is. ever cleaned it. The past three crews never even took a thing called soap. But anyways, no. Okay. Wait, actually, before we move on, because you just you just opened up a can. All right, now look, check this out. A can of what? A, a can in my brain. Okay. I wear my keys on like my belt a like this, like a janitor, because I used to be a janitor, and now a I want to fire artist. No, I used to call myself a mercenary industrial sanitation maintenance mm, operative. Word. Um, because I worked for a company that was like, whoa, uh, excuse me, where's the where's the emoji? What are you doing? Oh, sorry. Go get the emoji and you can yeah. come back. All right. So you we used to work for this so company? I used to be a janitor. A janitor. Hey, John. Oh. He's got his uh He's, he's proud mug. to be a Patriots guy. Contrast that to my Wild Bill soda mug. And to my... And Jake Allen. Look at that. <gasps> oh, shh. spoke his name. Are you not I'm, supposed to say Jake Allen? I'm not allowed in these videos. He's not supposed to be Why? on the show. Because he's the intellectual property of 592.3. <laughs> <laughs> now... Um. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Anything uh, we're okay. talking about um, how the cleaning people here aren't very good. <laughs> no, um, no comment. <laughs> yes. Okay, so what I'm trying to say is, I was a janitor, I know how it's supposed to be done. And the way it's done here, there's been multiple different cleaning companies since I've been here, and none of them do it right. You got these freaking clowns, these jokers we have right now. Watch what happens when I hold the bag and drop the can. It's... Okay, that's not a very good demonstration because it's actually stuck. It was stuck. supposed to fall. It's actually stuck in the broken cracks. Okay, and that's... Can you hand me your trash can? Wait, I Real can't quick. because my trash can didn't even get put back in the right spot. So right. Oh, here we go. I, I act like it don't even peaks. exist. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have any trash in his can. Watch this. When I, when I pick up the bag and drop the can, it just falls right out. You, you are supposed... You, janitoring 101, kids. All right, this is a useful life skill. When you're putting a bag in a can, you take a little bit off the edge... And you tie it. Just the tip. Just like that. Just the then tip. Then you loop it around. You should demonstrate on there because they can't see you down there, I know. Bill. Well, then you loop it. Well, now it's ripped because it fell. But look at that. Now oh. it doesn't fall. Look at that. It's amazing. Plus, when you mop, don't use freaking an entire bucket of water in the bathroom. Use a minimal amount of water. That, that way it dries. That was the old That fruit. was definitely it the old It dries fruit. quickly. And it doesn't leave the, the pee scent all over the place. So, now that we've gotten so way off book. So, with that being book, said, and talking about poop and stuff that's disgusting, how about Drake getting a tattoo of Lil Wayne <sighs> on his left his arm, left it looks tricep. like. And he's like, yo, this is old news. We Weezy F Baby approves, all that stuff. Well, here's the thing, right? If you haven't seen this picture yet, it's on the Jam's Facebook page. It's also on our Instagram. Leave a comment. Let us know what you think of it. I'm going to read some of them, what people have said. But he's like, yo, Weezy approves of it, it's mad good. Like, here's the thing. Like, let me try to show you real quick through here. So here's the picture he's got, that Wayne tattoo. It's kind of blurry. Oh, man, yeah, the, uh, the aperture is not cooperating. 
Uh, okay. Oh, there it is. All right, you see that ugly thing? <laughs> they, they could, they could probably like you scroll up or down. See that or up ugly thing? All right. Well, anyways, he didn't even get a good tattoo of Wayne. If you're gonna get a tattoo of him, why get the one where he looks most like a gremlin? <laughs> <laughs> why are you gonna get a tattoo of somebody else's face on your body in the first place? Like, unless it's a dead relative. Even then, it's weird. I don't know how I feel about face tattoos. Oh, I got a Statue of Liberty face. Yeah, but that's. That's a little bit different. Like that's that's a monument. That's a statue, right? So I don't. I wouldn't class it. It's not the, the face of an actual person who's walking around elsewhere. So what's your thoughts on this Drake tattoo? Before I read some of these comments. Well, I mean, he said that it's been there for five months and nobody can see it because of a T-shirt. I, what I want to know is why? What are you going to get a tattoo of somebody where nobody can see it? What's the point of getting a tattoo if He's nobody can see it? He's got one of like Aaliyah and Rihanna, right? <clears throat> now Drake. Yeah. So that's just or Drake now Wayne. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Why I mean, like, I think you know, like the Steve-O tattoo, where he has his own face tattooed on himself. I think that's funny. Yeah, but it's that like goes ironic, with his character right, too. Right, it's an ironic right. meta tattoo. Otherwise, I think, I think face tattoos are stupid. All right. So some people are saying, uh, Matt said, now he's got at least three god awful tattoos. So he's probably referring to the Wayne, Rihanna, and Aaliyah one. Another one used. What's that movie called again? Tropic Thunder. Uh, the part where he says, "This dude's gone full." You know what else? I refuse to say that word. Can't say that word because it's a bad word now. Which it's, it's not right to say at all. But anyways, uh, then we got a nice little giffy of uh, we need to, Hawaii. We need to talk about that someday. Words that are in now inappropriate I think for dumb word, reasons. I think that word should always have been inappropriate. I, I have to respectfully disagree. Well, then you haven't dealt with somebody that's had to deal with I like, mental but, problems. But the way, I see, it, like the way I see it is words, like, most, like, there's no term... For anybody in any capacity that is offensive to me, that's like, because you have words are just labels. Just because you haven't personally had to deal with something doesn't mean it's not offensive say, no, towards somebody else. I'm not saying. I've, what I'm saying is people need to stop getting offended. Like if somebody has something is dealt with a condition that I have dealt with, it still doesn't bother me. Well, just because it doesn't bother you doesn't mean it doesn't bother other people. Right? Cause they're because they're all weak. You, no, just because you think like that doesn't mean that you might be the weakest one. For putting up a wall and trying to do what you do. No, walls are strong. Okay. Walls make forts. Forts mm. make countries. Yeah. Countries wall surround make countries. the economy. Oh, mm, true. Well, All right, so anyways, yeah, so a lot of people went in on that. So there we go. We got a little, uh, we went off topic Yo, again. Yo, this is Sidetrack City today. Okay, so anyways, <laughs> is Drake losing his influence? Um, because he recently put out three songs. Uh, John, has, are we going to play any of those new songs as of right now? We're working on it. But they're not like moving up and making big noise like they usually do, right? Not yet. So would you do you think Drake's losing influence? No? No. My answer to that question, well, let's you look like you got more to say. No, I just think that it's like, you know, you put all this music out and then you see which one kinda people want to hear the most of and then we'll start playing it. Like throwing right. darts at a board and one sticks and you, yeah. you run with that. That's kinda what they're doing now. I, I, Pretty I think compelling it is. show today, guys. Well, we've we done a lot today. We talked about poop. We okay. talked about pooping in public places. We're not supposed to be doing that, remember? No, no, we're not supposed to be talking about certain products of the body that. So make then he shouldn't even be on air. If he can't talk about poop, then he can't even be on the show. I know, I have my show, show. That's is all poop he talks talk. about. Jeez. Anyway, my right. answer to the question is, is Drake losing influences? Who cares? He's already made his $100 million. <laughs> he, like, he could do whatever he wants. He could, he, could literally, he could fart into a mic and put it out as music, and it doesn't matter. He wouldn't have to sell a single copy. He's set for life. Scuba -da -da -da. He made his money. He struck while the iron was hot. you got to respect that. Yeah, exactly. Like what Migos are doing right now. Um, so huh. Jay-Z is uh, putting out his 444 album on a cassette for the old heads so they can listen to it. <laughs> this is so stupid. Everything about this is stupid. You know, instead of putting it out on Spotify, he's going to put it out on a cassette. <laughs> Allegedly, he's losing a million dollars like a week by not yeah. having it out on Spotify. But he's like, yo, you know what's going to be the hot seller is these cassette tapes because everybody still has got a cassette player in their car. They still got those big old boom boxes with the dual cassette like, tape, tapes. Like... He's selling them. Okay, let me give you the background here. He's selling them for $9 a piece. And anybody who pre-orders a cassette of 444 before 6 p.m. on August 4th is automatically entered to win a trip, uh, win a trip to um, 
England for V-Fest that Jay is headlining. But I shouldn't say win a trip. I should say win side stage tickets because you got to pay for your own transportation and, like, accommodations once, like, you get there. So you, all you're getting is tickets. They're showing freaking England. He's, he's packaging this with a cassette tape. Not only that, but cassettes are obsolete technology, right? Uh, well... No, they are. They're, period. They're, they're obsolete. Like, I get the well, retro, like, the throwback thing. That's one thing. So, like, when you put an Our album... that's going to be the new records for, like, 90s Here kids. we go. Here, but this is the thing, though, is that when you put something out on vinyl, like on a vinyl LP, by and large, most audiophiles agree that that sound quality is better than Perfect. digital. That's not the case with a cassette I love tape. vinyl, There's the no way. advantage. There's no advantage to playing a tape in If you ever want to give me deck. something, buy me <clears> some vinyl. It's just, it's like saying, like, yo, I... I know you, and I said this earlier on air, I, I know you like digital music, so we're going to go old school. We're going to split this album up and release it on a series of floppy disks. Like, that's, that's just a terrible idea. It's, it's stupid. It's, I'm trying to get you more afraid. Oh, sorry. You're a yeah. out. No, I'm, I just I feel very strongly about this. I think it's ridiculous, and I feel like the more money Jay-Z makes, the more he is inching closer and closer to, like, eccentric billionaire status. And he's just like, yo, what, what, this would be a good idea. Let's love, do this. Uh, honestly, it's mad stupid, but I don't hate it, though. I really don't hate the idea. It's just a different way, and, you know, there are collectors, and cassettes are starting to become a thing. People collect they them again. They shouldn't be a thing. Why? I don't know. They shouldn't, like, they, we, we're done with that. It's like, I, we're we going to go back to VCRs I'd much and rather give the, the vinyl press yeah. uh, 444. Right. That would be really cool. Cassette is okay, but... No, it's not. No, cassette is not even okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's, it's functional. It's okay. It's it okay. works if you're living in the early 90s and you're five years Until old. Until your to tape gets all twined. Like wrapped up. If you if you didn't live in the cassette era, man, well, we had to go through some struggles. You'd have to you take, take the like, pencil, pencil, and like wind it up, and it gets stuck, and sometimes it get break. And, no, oh, I don't want to go back to that. It sucks. Vinyls, at least, like they scratch or break in half. <laughs> they don't yeah. get like stuck in the cassette thing, and you have to like take it out and be careful with it because it's your fair. Okay, anyways, so the most overrated One Direction. Oh wow, member, we're actually gonna get to this after only yes, one day because we got All a couple right. minutes left in the show. Most so. overrated member of One Direction is easily Zayn. Easily, Why not do even you close. say it's Zane because he was so hyped up when he left One Direction. First of all, I he was the one guy who I was like, wait, which one is that again? Oh no, wait, Louis and Liam, I were always kind of interchangeable, mm -hmm. but at least though they were kind of funny. Zane was always trying to be like, look at me, I'm, I'm edgy and I'm brooding and I don't right. really want to be here. And and then he left and he put out his his solo music and it kind of sucked. Like Pillow Talk was garbage. Um, he put out a, another song that was okay, but I don't remember what it was called. So, that how good is that? Do you, so there's four members of uh, One Direction, right? Mm -hmm. There's Zane, there's Harry Styles. Five, well, five originally. Liam Payne. Louis Tomlinson, Niall Horan. Niall and who? I don't uh, know Lu this Louis, Louis guy. Louis is the only one who hasn't put out any solo music okay, yet. Okay, that's why that's I don't, why know, don't him. know him. That's why you don't know him. Um, um, he, so, looks, he looks like an older man. Okay, this is what I say about it all, is that I agree. Zane is definitely the the... Most overrated. Oh, wow. That's why I think that they forced and pushed out his music right away. Uh, because I think that they knew once, like, Liam came out and, like, he, it looked like he was playing a guitar in some video I was playing and, or watching. So I think he's more talented. I think Harry's a way better singer. And uh, I don't know this other guy. Who am I missing? We, uh, Niall? And Niall. Niall. Niall's songs are actually pretty good. I and I don't really the, know the, about the, him. The best. But maybe, Mary, maybe Harry. I think... Uh, Definitely, Zane's definitely most overrated. That's, I think a, that's, that's about as far as my, my knowledge of One Direction goes. So you I like think that the, one... the people that pull the puppet strings on the boy bands tried to force him out to, to sell his records yeah, before because everybody they, else? Yeah, because they knew, like, they knew Niall and, like, Harry Styles mm. would be, like, really popular. Like, everybody knew Harry Styles' names before the group. Even, yeah, he was like, the you breakout know what I mean? star. Yeah. And, like, he, that one song that he put out, that's a really good song. Like Sign of the Times. Honestly, when I first heard that, that was, like, the first time I heard JT, Justin Timberlake, and I was like... Wait, do I like him? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really didn't think so before, but maybe he's actually talented. Yeah, that's the same yep. feeling I had with him. So I don't know. That's my thoughts on it. I don't really have that much one uh, D, but I got. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to go. I got to read this comment from DC. Next up, Waka Flocka's new music to be released on series of Edison wax cylinders. <laughs> no. Shout out to Waka Flocka because I've interviewed a lot of artists over the years, and Waka Flocka is one of the most coolest, funnest <coughs> interviews ever. All right, so tomorrow we're going to talk about how professional it is to drink coffee during the middle of your live stream. And uh, scratch or pick your mm. nose, whatever you want to think you know, of I doing. I put my face all the time. Okay, well, with that being said, ladies and gents, 
We are about to be out. I got to bring up our theme song. Oh, yeah, there's a show tomorrow because today's Wednesday. I was like, is there a show tomorrow? Do you want to plug our show? Tomorrow's, yeah, on um, Monday through Thursday, 10.30 a.m. Don't ever miss it. Or else you are... A poop head emoji. Yeah, how about that? All right, ladies and gentlemen, and playing us out. Oh, yeah, shout out DC. Edison Wax Cylinder Style. One. Oh. Uh. Oh, yeah, music Cubicle video for this coming soon. Oh wait, we forgot it. Wait, hold up. We gotta talk about something real quick. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not done yet. No, we're not. Okay. Chrissy Teigen versus Donald Trump. Oh, we'll get that tomorrow. We'll get that tomorrow. Okay, I we're, just wanted to mention over. it because we put it we in did the write it on the, on the thing, so <laughs> yeah, listen. That's right, it's no, in today's episode. We should talk about it real quick. No, 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 tomorrow. No, tomorrow? Yeah. Chrissy Teigen this is the ultimate versus Donald tease. Trump. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, playing the rest of the theme song. <laughs> Show. Yeah. Bill's got cubicle show. Yeah. Cubicle show. <laughs> All right, Chrissy Teigen, Donald Trump talk, 10:30 tomorrow on the Cubicle Show. Boy.